The Toyota Corolla is a vehicle that's always been known for a combination of reliability, value, and even a little bit of fun. Vehicles like this XSE Corolla hatchback add a little bit of style to the mix as well. We're going to be taking a look at this 2021 XSE Corolla hatchback, and we're going to see just what it has to offer. It's nearly $30,000 for a Corolla, but I think it is more than worth it. And I'm going to show you guys why. Let's get into it. But first, a huge thanks to Coons Toyota of Westminster, Maryland for letting us take a look at this 2021 Corolla hatchback. Be sure to check out their website in the description below and check them out if you're looking for a new Toyota. Also, if you like the video, consider subscribing. All right, let's get into it. And let's start by taking a look at some of the technology with your infotainment system right here. You have this really nice Toyota Entune system. Uh, so let's take a look at this. This is your home screen right here, what you'll be seeing most of the time. You do see that this does have navigation on it and you have your audio information nicely displayed. Of course, there is Bluetooth here. You're also getting Android Auto and Apple CarPlay projection. Um, just nothing too, too out of the ordinary here for the Toyota system. I would like to show you the info and the eco tab as uh, when we get to the engine you'll see this car does have some really good fuel efficiency so having a tab like this really is warranted going back to that main menu uh, something else i want to show you is if you don't like this theme you can actually really easily change it and i really appreciate that so you can see now we have a light theme and everything looks different now so i really like that toyota gives that sort of customization in their vehicles we talked about this in the tundra uh, video it's so easy to change I, overall this is a really snappy system the sound is good what you would expect uh, it's nice they have the JBL audio system in here and overall it's just a really functional system this is not the most technologically advanced infotainment screen there is but most people are probably just gonna throw up Apple CarPlay and just use this for the occasional radio station so it is more than adequate and on the topic of technology, I will show you the backup camera right now. Just put the car in reverse and you will see up comes the camera. 360 camera is not here. That would be nice to see maybe on next year's model or next generation. But I understand, you know, this still is a car intended at a lower price point. So if the 360 camera isn't there, it's not a deal breaker. You have a decent resolution backup camera, no guidance, but it will do the job. Continuing to talk about some of the main tech in this car, here is your gauge cluster. You can see you have physical dials, Linking a digital screen. That digital screen is actually really, really nice. You can see right here, I have physical buttons to control it. And there's not too much here. Mostly you can just scroll through different trip information. So um, eco is there automatically. You have your driver safety features we will get to in just a bit. Audio, of course, typical trip information right here. Um, so I really like having the settings for the safety systems available right here. It's really nice to be able to just turn them on and off. I wish more cars did this. Toyota puts it nice and centrally. It makes it really easy to change. So this is a really simple screen, but it's very clear. Um, it's really bright today, but I have no trouble reading it. Really high quality display. Let's talk about the exterior of the vehicle, starting with your front fascia right here. I think it looks really, really good. Toyota Safety Sense uh, integrated right into your badge right there. This does have the 2.0 system. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Also part of that safety system, you got automatic high beams. You do have LED lights right here. I wasn't a huge fan of the lights when this car first came out, but they've actually really grown on me. So that is a really good thing. And of course you have this nice brushed aluminum right here. And of course this lower lip, it gives her a really nice defined look. You also have LED lights down here for your fog lights. It's just a really nice design that they clearly put a lot of work into and a lot of different curves give it a really attractive appearance. Let's talk about the side of the vehicle now. Of course, we have to talk about this blue flame color. It looks really fantastic on this vehicle. You have your $300 roof rails right here. Um, this is actually a really cool option. I think it gives this hatchback a bit of a neat look. Also giving this car a unique look is the really squared off back. And you have these 18 inch wheels right here that I think definitely work with this blue really well. It's definitely a distinctive side profile. Your mirrors right here are manual folding and you have an LED turn signal in them as well 
well as your blind spot warning. It's an attractive, distinctive side profile, especially with this really cool blue flame color. All right, let's take a look at the back. Looking at the rear of the vehicle here, your taillights mimic your headlights, really like that look. And then you have some fake exhaust down here. Now opening the hatch, you will find 17 cubic feet of cargo space. Now, Toyota will let you do a free spare tire delete and they'll give you a fix a flat kit. And then you'll actually gain six cubic feet of space back here. You do have a 60 40 uh, folding rear seat. So you can just push it back really easily from here, which is awesome. Definitely a usable uh, cargo area right here. And it's really nice. You can access, of course, the full way through. So if you need to carry long items, uh, you can do that in a relatively small pack. Let's talk about the trims for the Corolla hatchback. Starting at just over $20,600 is going to be the SE, which is going to get you 16 inch wheels and eight inch touchscreen and automatic climate controls. For about $2,000 more, you can get the blacked out nightshade edition. At just over $23,000, the XSE like we have today is gonna get you those 18 inch alloy wheels. You're also getting dual zone automatic climate control and the LED fog lights up front. Let's talk about the engine right here. You have a two liter inline four cylinder engine that is naturally aspirated. It's gonna be making around 169 horsepower and 151 pound feet of torque. That power is gonna be routed through either a CVT or a six speed manual. And you can expect to get around 30 miles to the gallon in the city and around 38 on the highway. Let's talk safety. This vehicle has a five-star safety rating and you're getting Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. That includes automatic high beams. You're also getting lane departure alert with lane trace assist. You have a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection and you're getting radar cruise control. This vehicle also comes equipped with blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert. Let's take a look at the interior of the Corolla. Here is your key, nice simple Toyota key. Just give it a tug on the handle and in you go. Nice proximity key right there. Door has a good thud to it, really high quality. Looking around the vehicle, general interior impressions are great. Hit the start button right there. And so what I really wanna call your attention to is this dashboard right here. It's eye popping, almost contrast stitching, having this nice white right on the black really brings attention to this really well-crafted dashboard. It has nice soft touch material to it. You also have soft touch up here and along your door. Everything has a really unique, almost architectural look to it with the protrusions and the way things are molded together. You can tell some time went into this interior. It looks like a $30,000 interior. We're gonna take a closer look at it right now. Let's talk about the seats. They are very comfortable in this vehicle. I'm extremely uh, pleased by them. Really, really nice seats right here. You do have a really cool look to them too. There's a cloth insert with black leather, and then you have some white contrast stitching on there as you have through the rest of the interior. It makes for a really good looking seat and a really nice feeling seat. You do have power adjustments, no memory in this car though. It would be nice to have memory function on the higher trims, but you know what? It's a really comfortable seat, so I can't complain. I think only a small percentage of people wouldn't find this seat comfortable. Just like how a small percentage of you are subscribed. If you guys are liking the video, be sure to subscribe for more weekly videos. Now let's keep talking about the interior. Really nice steering wheel right here. It is fairly thin, but for this type of vehicle, it is exactly what I would expect. Nice leather around it and all of your buttons can easily be reached with your thumb. It is a very light steering wheel. You can see I can turn it with just one finger. So that is just something to be aware of if you're buying this car. And then you do have uh, some really tactile turn signals right there. Really high quality feel. You will notice there are paddle shifters. This vehicle has the CVT, so you do have simulated gears and paddle shifters here. Um, that is going to be, you know, something that not everyone likes, but I can say that my fingers don't really hit the paddles like they do in some cars. They've placed them out of the way, which is nice. 
moving to your center stack. One thing I forgot to mention in technology is the JBL sound system and the navigation in this vehicle are part of the $1,600 XSE preferred package. Moving down from there, you can see that we have our climate controls. They are very tactile. All the knobs feel good. They're not shaky or anything like that. You do have dual zone auto climate control in this vehicle, and you have a really high resolution screen right here, and they are not buried up in the infotainment, which I know some people really appreciate. Also part of that XSE preferred package is your Qi wireless charger down here, and you do have heated seats in this vehicle with the switches right there. Continuing down the center, you can see you have your shifter for the CVT. It has a good feel to it, nothing really special there. You do have your parking brake and a brake hold function and two cup holders right here. I wish they had the little nubs that held your drink in place, but it is nice to have two cup holders. Lots of piano black right here. That's going to get dusty very quick. So will the piano black on your door right here. That is just something to keep in mind. They did use gloss black in high traffic areas. It's not a big deal. You just have to clean it uh, fairly often if you like keeping it clean. Then you have a really high, nice, soft leather pad right here. Really, really good armrest. And you can see that it's not big but for this type of vehicle it's acceptable it could fit maybe a small person there um, you do have a usb port and car charger right there with the little channel right here for you to put the wire through so you can charge your phone right here if you're not using the wireless charger really nice thinking there now let's talk about the rear of the vehicle. Legroom is surprisingly great back here. And because you have the hatchback, you have great headroom too. You could definitely fit two adults back here or even three kids. There's not a huge hump right here, but big enough that you wouldn't want three adults back here. And it's not that wide of a car. However, when it comes to legroom and height, you have a lot of room back here. I am really pleasantly surprised. No charging back here. I would like to see charging at least on the XSE maybe, but you do have a nice little cubby right there. What I really, really like, and I'm now thinking and wondering why I haven't seen a car before, is having cup holders up here on the door. The cup holders are always down here on uh, car doors. I'm not sure why no one has really put them up here yet, and I just realized that while I got in this car. Let me know if uh, you've seen a car with the cup holder up high like that on the door in the comments below. I can't think of one where I have, but maybe that's just my memory going crazy. You do have a little pull out right here. You don't have a little tab to pull it out. I wish you had a little tab. And then two cup holders, no nubs though to hold your drink in. Overall, a pretty nice interior. A few little touches like the charging port back here would be appreciated, but overall, it definitely serves its purpose well. Lots of room back here. Toyota's got themselves a really fun little car here between this really cool color scheme and there are some really cool colors uh, you can get on this car. There's a really cool red that they have. Joe Rady from Rady's Rides did a video with the red one. Uh, I highly suggest checking that color out too. But you have some really cool colors. You have a really fun interior that's really well designed. Lots of good architecture to it. Really interesting. It's not just a boring bland interior you would expect from sort of a, a, a mid-range hatchback, but the Corolla really delivers there. It really makes good on the promise that the Corolla has always represented of bringing a really great value, some really great performance, and everything that you could need um, in a car, the Corolla always brings in spades. So this really is a great car. $30,000 is a lot, but the Corolla brings great value even at this price point, especially in the fun hatchback. Be sure to check out Coons Toyota of Westminster. Their website will be in the description below. A huge thanks to you all for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you in next week's video.